be, buddy. It's great to be back on the old home range again. The man they're looking for is me. Well, so long, Pete. You big bad wolf. <laughs> Remain where you are. <laughs> I will protect you. Paul Cat Pete will explain to them everything. <laughs> See you later.
Oh. Why, uh, right on over the hill. Thanks. All right, Umbre, stick him up and come out of there. Yes, and while you got him there, keep him plenty high. Bring him down. Put it away. train or bank robbery. All of them, partner. And much obliged for tipping the sheriff the wrong clue. Well, that's okay with me, partner. But it ain't just charity that made me save your heart. No? Well, anything I can do for you, just name it. I can use a gun torter like you, and no questions asked. Bill Haynes is the name. Chuck Adams. And we're here to jump these oil claims, if you know what I mean. Yeah? Who's the present owner? A fellow named Millette. Why? Any special reason why you'd like to know? No. <laughs> you see, I thought if I... In case I meet up with them, I'd like to be tipped off ahead of time. Oh. I guess you're right. I'm a bit fidgety myself. This job's about got my goat. Well, I'm your man. This man Millette's no friend of mine. Know him? <laughs> Not exactly. But he sent a friend of mine up the river. And I just want to square things a bit. Oh. Well, that's a break, ain't it? And that just about settles Millette's hash. Say, partner, I'd work for a dollar a day to get even with that guy, Millette. Well, you'll get your chance all right, kid. And you'll get paid plenty for it. You just follow orders. You get me? Sure. Just lead me to it. Well, come on. Go up and get your horse. and We'll drive over to my place and talk it over. Wait till I get the hat. Be right with you. Now, where are you going home? I'm going over to help the boys move the cattle over to the valley. Well, they say cattle and oil don't make. But I'm going to hold out. Miss Helen? Fine, thank you. Yeah. Say, Millette, I just thinking, I bet you don't know what's brought me all the way up here from my bank. No, I don't. Well, I hate to I hate to tell you, but your creditors are pressing. So? What? Well, as your <laughs> your banker, I'd suggest that you sell out your oil interests. No sale. Is that plan? useless, Millette, for you to drill for oil in a dry hole. It's financial suicide. Well... Millette, fools drill and the wise man sells. Well, I'm a fool. Why be a fool when all you've got to do is to take a fair price? Save your ranch and cattle as well. Why should I sell? 
when others are foolish enough to want to buy it. Listen, my friend. You have powerful enemies. But as a banker, I can't tell you who they are. But remember, I warned you. If they're afraid to come out in the open, you tell them that I'm not worrying. I know a man can stand most any hardship. But what about your daughter? Don't you think so, Helen? Oh, I'm with Dad, Mr. Harris. Whatever he says goes with me. We're not afraid. If Helen can stand it, I can. Well, all right. But don't forget I warned you. I bid you folks good day. I'll get even that with that guy. It's the last thing I ever do. Even if I do have to wait 15 years. But well, it's sure tough when you trust the guy and he puts the double cross on you. Trust him? Why, I trust him like I would a brother. What's all the excitement about? Don't you fellas know it's only five minutes before the lights go out? Ah, oh, we were just talking over some things we read in the paper. Well, don't just getting all hopped up about it. You got 15 years to talk things over. And so take it easy. Well, it's none of your time, buddy. No, it's none of my time. I get paid for my time. Yeah, and if it wasn't for us guys, you'd have to go to work. Wouldn't that be too bad? You win. Now listen. For the next 15 years, you're both right. Oh, these crews make me sick. If they wasn't jail guards, they'd be crooks themselves. You hit it, Dragon. But how about this guy you were telling me about? Ah, oh, he's one of the worst stool pigeons I ever met up with in my life. Ah, uh, me and him met first down in Gardella's. I was working for a rustling outfit, headed by Chuck Adams. We were getting a percentage on the steers. Everyone, and there was uh, every marriage that was branded. How come that you cut him in with you? Well, I couldn't help it after what he'd done for me.
<laughs> Come on, get up there. Come on there. All right, now beat it. Get up, come on. Let's get this over here. Let's talk it over. What's all the trouble about? Oh, just a little friendly argument, that's all. Say, buddy, where are you from? Oklahoma. What are you doing up here? Oh, looking for work. Say, you team up with me, I'll show you how to make plenty of money. Yeah? Well, from now on, you and I are partners. Great with me. <laughs> and do you blame me for making the shine to him? Oh, it looks like he was acting fast and fair. Well, that's what I thought. We became fast buddies. But wait till I tell you how he sold out. Oh, boy. Sold you out? How come? We both are working for the Circle K, cutting fences and catching them on the loose and running their iron. You mean plain rustling? Sure. We was getting two bucks a head for every steer we delivered on the line. Why, we were going good. Looked like a cleanup until that dirty double cross dive. You got his debt to right, Sheriff. I don't guess. I know. Here. Handcuff him. I should have been suspicious then. He gave up too easy. Why, it was nothing but a dirty frame up. Well, I'll say it was. Yeah, and he pleaded guilty. And we both get a threat for 20 years. Can you feature that? No. The... Oh, love him, Mikey. You guys gonna steal a rag here all night. Well, that ain't any hero for your chest, you lousy screw. Right. And for the next 15 years, you got to tell your new cellmate to starve your life, so forget it. And anyhow, they put us right here in this vital suite. Right here in this cell. And they tried to pump me about Chuck Adams and who was behind him. Did you tell him? No, I didn't even know myself. What do you mean you didn't know who was behind Chuck? I didn't. Chuck Adams is one of the closest mouth guys in the 17 states. So your friend Bill never found out? No. Listen, Joe, I'm going to be out of here in a week. What? Yes. I've been figuring on it for a couple of months. I get some buddies on the outside. Of the what are you going to do? Oh, when I get out of here, you just watch my smoke. There's one dirty double crossing rat.
Bill. Hello, Helen. <laughs> well, this looks like a prearranged affair. Why not let me in on the secret? Well, that's just what we're going to do. Come on over the fire. Oh, I'm so glad you're all right, Bill. I was afraid something had happened to you. Oh, I'm all right. Especially since you're here, sweetheart. <laughs> well, how's the jailbird? Well, that doesn't sound so good. <laughs> well, don't blame me. Why, well, it's your own fault, your own idea for being locked up in jail. Well, the gag worked well, like the gag with the sheriff posse. But Adams fell for it. Chuck Adams? Sure. He hired me to do some dirty work for him. Thinking I was a few something like that, and that I'd have to keep my trap shut. Well, that seems impossible. Adams, one of that gang of crooks. Why, say, do you know he's one of the best geologists west of the Rockies? He's a crook, all right, but he's not the real brains of the gang. Any idea who it might be? No. Dragon Morris, my cellmate in the pen, didn't know either. Well, that's what I'm going to find out tonight. Maybe. I sure wish you luck, Bill. Yes, and maybe get yourself killed off. Well, that's a chance the ranger must always take. Oh, please. You know, I... Uh, I think I ought to beat it back to Adam's shack before they find that I'm gone. Please. Bill, please be careful. Well, don't worry, Ellen. Everything will be all right. Well, let's go. <laughs> Bill. Now listen to me, folks, and I'll tell you a tale of the little old state of Idaho. It's from there I did roam, and it there stands the home of the girl I left in Idaho. Idaho. The gang's doing pretty well, I think. <laughs> Very well indeed. And they do a lot better when they force Millette to sell out. Yeah. Just watch our smoke. Say, I hope you're keeping that ledger away all right. If anyone should see it, you know, it'd be a dead giveaway. Yeah, but don't you worry about that. I'm the only one that knows the combination of that box. <laughs> Ah, uh, they'll have to get up bright and early to outsmart Chuck Adams. I'll be rambling back to town. See you sometime tomorrow. Okay, Chief. So long.
Here? Sure. It sounds like we came from a ranch house. Go. Hey, you eggs. Come here. Who was trying to open this window? Who are you expecting? Ah, uh, nuts to you. Go on back and go to bed. He's <laughs> <laughs> having another As I said before, I've tried to get my legs to come to time. It's no use now. You've got to scare him out. I have it. I'll start the ball rolling by stampeding his cattle. He's got grazing down there in Kern Valley. Good idea, Chuck. And let's have quick action. Yeah. And you'll be paying off plenty pretty soon, too. Sure, after we get results. I'll see to it myself that every one of you get a square deal. Uh, that's the line that I've been waiting to hear. Well, here's luck, boys. See you tonight, Chief. Hey, Bill, I want you to go down to your old oil, Derek, and keep an eye open down there. Anything brewing down that direction, let me know. Sure will, Chuck. Just leave it to me. Oscar. Come here, Rusty. You boys better follow him and keep an eye on him. Okay, Chuck. I'm leaving now, and I'll meet you here when I get back. Okay. Keep your eyes open. All right, boys. Come on.
Come here, Fanny. Come here. Come here. Right over here. Keep up high. Come on. Over here. All right, there. Come on, get up, you. Come on. Get your hands together. Stick that around there. Over there. Come on. Get going. Hurry up. Get up there. Get your arms around there. We've run into a trap. There's a whole army up there. Every man for himself.
way, Phil. I knew you could do it. Well, they had it coming to them, and I'm not through that gang yet. Oh, please, Bill, don't take any more chances. Now, you and your dad meet me down at the oil derrick, and I'll have all the evidence. We'll be there. At daybreak? And if I'm not there, you get those, you round up the boys and tell them to meet me over at Adam's shack and to come a shooting. I get you. All right. Jumping rattlesnake, Dragon. You mean the buzzard that was in your cell? Yes, and he's supposed to be my friend. And the chief was showing up here. Now you fellas better get out of here. What for, Chuck? Well, because they'll be coming here next. I'm going to throw a few things together and beat it myself. the bad news. I was wondering if you'd be here. Yeah. Come over and sit down. Well, what happened? Harris, it was murder. But they were just waiting for us. What do you mean they're waiting for you? Well, ten of us went out. And only three of us came back. And you told me it was going to be the pickings. Well, it would have been easy if someone hadn't warned them. Who? They tell me that Shadow Williams, the rangers, back on this range. Who is this fellow that you've hired? What do you know about him? Who is he? Maybe yes, maybe no. But I'm not taking any more chances. Start moving before it's too late. But Chuck, what'll I do without you? Make easy pickings on yourself, you cheap double-crossing oil swindler. And just to show you that I mean exactly what I say, I'm gonna dynamite those oil wells if it's the last thing I do. 
Great for the sky. Hurry. Now get going. And furthermore, I want to tell you that you'll take the rap this time. Why, Dragon Morris, what's the big idea? The big idea is this buzzard is a dirty double cropping rat. He fooled you like he fooled me. Now I'm going to tell you who he is. Shaw Williams, a Texas Ranger. Does Dragon speak the truth? Yes. I came here to get the evidence on Harris and his henchmen, and I've got it. Yeah? Yeah. In your days of robbing and swindling are over, and you're all going to jail. Were you the artillery artist? Yes. And I permitted you to escape, figuring out you, you later. Yeah? Well, you're not going to live long enough to use me. Killing me won't help you. Take a look in your safe. What did you do with this stuff? Turn it over to the proper authority. Have you got anything else to say? I'd like a smoke. Have you got one? <laughs> yes. You'll hurry. Thanks. Got a match? No. Thanks. Up. Come on, boys. Have them come shooting. You stay here, Helen, and if our trail's crossed, tell Bill where we've gone. All right, Daddy. Remember, Helen, you stay here. Wait. Sign that confession. Come on. Adams has escaped. He's going to dynamite the oil derricks. He said he would. I thought you would.
And don't try to get away because I have your confession. Here's the brains of that gang. You're a banker. And I have his confession here. You keep your eye on this, Umbre. I'm going down to the Catch Adams. He's down at the oil derricks to blow him up. Why, Holmes, then, she's waiting for you. What? Oh, look what you did to me. Oh, yeah. Gee. You boys stay here and watch this, Ombre. I'm going with Bill. All right, boss. This is an unexpected pleasure. What do you mean? I'm sorry to have to do this, but I'm not going to allow you to interfere. Nobody's going to get it because I'm going to blow it up. And leave me here to be killed? No. Because you? You're going with me. Saving my fortune. Okay. Well, see you. I'll see that you get yours. Come on, me. Come on. I did it. You sure did, Bill. <laughs> 